Welcome to another Wiesbaden Military Housing Tour. My name is Daniel, this is DTV, and I'll be your entertainment for today. Let's get funky. Before we go inside, let's take a look at the lay of the land. Wiesbaden Housing is located in five separate neighborhoods. Ockham, Crestview, Heinerberg, Clay Caserne, and Newman Village. Each of these neighborhoods has its own unique characteristics, but today we're focusing on a four bedroom, two bath apartment in Heinerberg. By the way, this is a completely different floor plan than my last four bedroom, two bath Heinerberg house tour. If you wanna see that one, check out the pop-up card or click on the link in the description. Let's go. Oh, and remember when you first arrive, you may be staying at the Wiesbaden Army Lodging, which is also located on Heinerberg. Some of you have also asked to see more of a city neighborhood vibe of Wiesbaden. Don't you worry. It's coming. Subscribe. Let's start this house tour already. You just walked into the front door of your military home in Germany. To the left is an awkward built-in closet for jacket and shoes, but hey, it's there. There's always a few exceptions, but Heinerberg stairwell housing is primarily for junior enlisted soldiers and families. If you're an officer, depending on your rank, you may be in Ockham or Clay Caserne. FGOs are primarily designed for Newman Village in duplexes or single family houses. As you can see, this is a pretty nice size family room here. Underneath the window, you'll find radiator heating leading out to your first balcony. The first thing you'll notice is the screen door. Most windows have screens on them. As you walk outside, you'll notice there's no private yard, just open green space, but plenty of room for kids and pets to run around. Also, one thing to note, there are outlets on both balconies that you have out here. Both balconies have great views to the commissary. Pro tip, Pro -tip. walk down there right before sunset to get the best views. Don't forget to snap a pic for the gram, hashtag, I live in Germany? Yeah. Jawohl! Hit that subscribe button if you're feeling friendly today. Let's take a walk into your new laundry room. Right before we go into there, here's a quick look at your new breakfast bar. Also, 110 and 220 volt outlets are all around the house, which is unheard of in the German economy, so consider yourself lucky with regards to bringing over all your different appliances. Speaking of appliances, all those are included. Washer, dryer, fridge, stove, dishwasher, and they're American style, so if you're thinking to yourself, hmm, those aren't that big, then you probably need to take a look at my culture shock video for a size comparison. In the meantime, here's your first full bathroom. Dual vanity, dual outlets, radiator heaters, towel heater, shower tub combo. How about that tile backsplash all over the place and a mini storage closet behind the door. If you haven't noticed yet, the bathrooms, laundry room, and kitchen are all tile. The rest of the house is hardwood. Also good to know, the walls are concrete in this home and pretty much every German house, so keep that in mind when you're hanging stuff up on the wall. Welcome to your first bedroom. Whoever's living in here is closest to the kitchen for a late night Scooby snack. All the rooms come with built-in closets, large windows, and radiator heating underneath them. Oh, that reminds me, there's no AC in Germany. So bring fans or take a look at these different window settings to control the airflow in the house. Okay, let's head into the kitchen. As I mentioned, appliances included, tile floors, and dual voltage all throughout the kitchen here. It's a pretty decent sized kitchen. The thing I do like about it though is it comes with two sinks. I know that may sound funny to some, but most German houses only have one sink. None of them have a garbage disposal. So yeah, first world problems. There's also a decent amount of storage space in this kitchen, but I would recommend getting some extra storage in the dining room. Listen, if you have high anxiety about what to do with this kitchen, how to pack for it. Maybe this is your first PCS overseas and you're just like, what am I going to bring? No stress. I got you covered. Take a look at my how to pack blog where I go over unaccompanied baggage, household goods, and personal luggage that you bring with you on the plane. There's also a video in there to keep you entertained and engaged just like this one. Okay, let's head up the stairs for our second bedroom tour. As we're walking up there, here's some things to know about the base. You've got a 21st century middle and high school. There's also an elementary school on base, CDC, teen center. There's bus stops all over the place. Link in the description. You've also got the PX here, commissary, shop at with gas station, a theater, and a really cool entertainment center with bowling and a bar upstairs for the grownups. If you want to get a full tour of all that stuff, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting a first look at Wiesbaden video here shortly. I just completely skipped over that linen closet there, but I'm sure you took a peek. We we are now in our third bedroom. One thing also to note about these rooms, each window has what's called a Rolladen automatic shutter. You just push the button next to the window and the automatic shutter will come down for complete darkness or protection against the zombie apocalypse. Welcome to your master bedroom. As you can see in the master bedroom, it's a little bit bigger than all the other bedrooms. You've got a balcony connected to your room, a large window, and your own ensuite bathroom.
Just like the other full bathroom in the house, you've got dual vanity, tile everywhere, a towel heater, which is really nice, and a shower tub combo. You've also got a storage unit in the basement, but I've also seen people get creative and use this space as a gym or arts and crafts room. This is actually a storage basement from Crestview, but they all look basically the same. And lastly, you have one designated parking spot outside. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for being here and putting up with me. I hope you learned something today. If you're excited about this move, but just a little bit anxious, take a look at my free PCS to Germany checklist. It will definitely get the ball rolling for you, covering the most expensive and most important items first. I hope to see you around Germany sometime. If you had fun today, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.